Well, <coughs> excuse me, welcome back to the uh, Unit 8 review for stoichiometry, and we're going to look at a couple of, uh, of the math problems here, and we'll go through those. So let's look at the first one here. We got lead 2 sulfide, and why don't we go ahead and write the, uh, the formula as we go through this, and then we'll work, work the problem out. So we got lead 2 sulfide, PBS, and it reacts with oxygen gas, and we know oxygen's diatomic to produce lead 2 oxide. PBO and sulfur dioxide. That's O2. Oh, so we got the, so we have this, we got the formula, and it says if point zero point five zero zero moles of O2 were consumed, so we're gonna use all that up, how many grams of lead two oxide would be produced? So we're looking at that. All right, I'm gonna pull this out and we'll go through and work the problem here. Get this out there, all right. Well, we need to balance for charges. We know oxygen is an element, so it's zero. And we know this is molecular, so we don't have to worry about that. We were given this formula, so we know that should be correct. And lead's two, and we know sulfur is a minus two. So we can do this, whoops, we know lead's the positive two, and this is two minus. So we, you know, if we do the crisscross here, it's two to two or one to one, so we're good there. And they're telling us lead is two. Okay, the next step is to balance with coefficients. Well, we got one lead, one lead, one sulfur, one sulfur, and it always seems to come down to oxygen. We have two on this side and three on that side. Here's where you go ahead and use that little hint I gave you. What times two would give you three? Well, easy enough, that's 1.5. Now we know we can't use that, we gotta use whole numbers. So we'll double this. So that's 302, and we've gotta double everything else. So two PBS, and that goes to two lead oxide plus two sulfur dioxide. So now we have our balanced equation and we're looking pretty good there. The next step we're given the number of moles of O2 that's being used but that has a coefficient of three and we want to find out what it is for for one. So we know there's coefficient is three here and that's where point five zero zero but we want to find that ratio where it's just one so 3x equals 0 0.500 zero zero, and x equals 0 0.167 all right so now we've got that now we can go back through and do the BCA oops let's hold that in there so the before we know we've got this much oxygen. Well, we know we're not making nothing at the before, so that's good. Now we gotta figure out the lead. So we got coefficient of two, two times uh, 0.167, and I think I already did that, is 0.334. So that's 0 0.334. So the change is going to be seeing we're using all of this we're going to end up using all that also so let's go ahead and do the change and I think at the same time we might as well just do the after while we're at it so it's a zero, zero point five. we're using all of this if we use all that we end up using all that and we're going to make two times, get this over a little bit, let me zoom that one, two times this amount, so that's 0 0.334, so we're making 0 0.334, 0 0.334, again that's got a coefficient of 2 also. Alright, so now we got our after on here did our little BCA routine and the question is how many grams of lead to oxide would be produced well we've got so 
so 0 0.334 moles of lead oxide. And again, I always like to put it over 1. It has a formula weight. 223 grams. I think I rounded that up probably. Over one mole of lead oxide. And my math is correct. Let's see. 334 times 223 equals 74.5 grams. And three sig figs, 74.5 grams of lead oxide. So there's our answer right there. So that's the answer for number four. All right, let's uh, flip this baby around and we'll take a look at number five here. And if I can ever get my stuff together, I'll be better off. All right, let's look at number five. Potassium chlorate decomposes when heated to produce potassium chloride in oxygen gas. If two and a half grams of potassium chlorate were heated in a test tube, how many grams of oxygen gas should be given off? Well, we can go ahead and write our formula out. We're given potassium chlorate, KClO3, it's a decomposition, and it's KCl, and then oxygen is O2, and we're given, I'm going to write this off to the side, 2.50 grams KClO3. Alright, and then we want to know how many grams of oxygen should be given off. So we're going to be looking at that. All right, so I got everything here. Let's go through and go through the steps. So we've got potassium chlorate. We're given that formula, so we know that's correct. Uh, don't know if this is, but potassium is one, chlorine is a minus one, so that's one to one, and oxygen would be zero. So that one's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward there got to go through and balance. One potassium, one potassium, one chlorine, one chlorine, three oxygen, and two. That's a, one of those nice little uh, least common denominator ones. And that would be six. So we got two, we need a two there, and we need a three here. So get gets us our balanced equation. All right, so now we've got to change this to molds. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, rewrite this. So I have, eh, I guess I can put it right here. I have 2.50 grams of KCl, KClO3 over 1. And I'll probably end up bringing this down here. I know one mole of KClO3 is 122 122.6 grams of KClO3. And I'm just going to bring this answer down there. So, go ahead and divide that out. 2.50, 2.50, divided by 122.6 equals 0 0.20. 0 0.2, oops, 0. 0 to 0 moles of KClO3. Okay, so that's how many moles we have there. Now again, let's go back and look at our coefficients. Coefficient shows 2. So really this needs to be divided by 2. We want to find out what 1 will be. And I always like to say, Coefficient of 2, we have this amount, 0 0.020. We want to find out what 1 is worth. So 2x equals 0 0.020. So we know x is 0 0.010. Alright, 
So now we can go ahead and do the, the, uh, the before uh, change and after. So B, C, A. And before we know how much we have, we have 0 0.020. We don't have any of this at the before. So we're using up all of this. 0 0.020. So I'm just going ahead and do the after. Now, how much of this are we making? Well, we have the same coefficient. We've got a 2 here and a 2 there. So those two values are going to be equal. 0 0.020. 0, 0. So we've got that. And then oxygen, we've actually got a coefficient of 3. So it's 3 times that amount. So we have 0 0.030. 0 .0. So there's our moles of O2. And the question asks, how many grams of oxygen gas should be given off? Well, got the moles, let's convert it to grams. So 0 0.030 moles of O2. And I know in one mole of O2, there's 32 grams of O2, and that equals, I think I'm going to bring it right here, let's get that out of there, 0 0.03 times 32 equals 0 0.96, 0 0.96 grams of O2 are produced. So there's our answer. Alright, so there's the uh, first two problems and we'll come back with the next two.